lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. Hello and welcome to Omaha Girls Rock Virtual Camp, the next video installment of vocal instruction with yours truly, Britta Tullifshrude. I'm stoked to be here. I'm in local Omaha and a musician and I work with Opera Omaha right now. I'm so excited as we work together to learn all about harmony and rounds. A few things before we begin. I highly recommend warming up your voice. It's really important to sing in a healthy way. So that means to warm up your body just like you would when you go for a run or you do any physical exercise, you would stretch. Same thing with your voice. You want to warm up your voice, do breathing exercises, do sirens, do whatever's comfortable to you. Warm up the voice, get yourself ready to sing, and then come back and we'll, we'll begin the video. The next thing is to have someone to harmonize with. I recommend snagging someone in your home with you, a sibling, a friend nearby. You could call someone up. You could Zoom with them. You know, delay might make it kind of funky, but you know, it's worth a shot and worth trying. So grab a friend, harmonize with someone, and or I highly recommend finding a virtual app, a virtual keyboard, or an instrument of your choice. So whatever instrument you choose, that will also be helpful as you play around with harmony. To begin, we'll talk a little bit about harmony. Harmony is simply the two notes played, two or more notes played at the same time to create that lush, beautiful sound. There are so many ways to do this, but it's helpful to think about music in two different ways. You've got the horizontal line. So you've got, do, a deer, a female deer, that's one phrase. And then you've got the harmony on top of that. Do, a deer, a female deer. And when you put them together, the notes on top of each other make a vertical, resonance or a harmony together. There are a few ways to practice this or to do this. One way, as you may have found with the pitch video that we talked about earlier, is to find a pitch and then go up a third from there. So we're gonna begin by building a triad. So what is a triad? We're gonna start building a triad on C today. So find middle C, C, and then you're going to go up a third, a major third. C, D, E, or one, two, three, or Do, Re, Mi. So find someone or practice with each note. Hold one note, Do, and hold that note. And then the next person, or you can try finding that third, Do, Do. So now together, we'll make that beautiful third. To make the full triad, you're going to add a third above that, which is a fifth above C. Find C, D, E, F, G. So now you've got one, three, five. C, E, G. You have that beautiful triad. So now, C, G, and you can play all three of those together or the C and the E or the C and the G. And this model, this one, three, five, or the Do, Mi, So, you can take and put towards any tonic or any bottom note. So you can do the same thing with G. G, B, D, G, B, D. And when you play them all together, you have that beautiful triad together. It's weird to do this with just one person. I totally get that. The other thing to try is to think about the various ways that you can play with this different rhythms. So now that you've got the triad, you can pair that with anything really. So the other thing is to take songs that you already know and listen for the multiple lines in it. There are some beautiful examples of some really lovely harmonies throughout various classical music. So now we're going to start talking about that horizontal phrase. Now that we've talked about the vertical line, the harmonizing of notes of one time, we're going to start talking about what is it to play with the horizontal line at different points. So with the phrase, you can start a phrase and have someone start that exact same phrase at a different part and continue the phrase. So today, for an example, you can take any nursery rhyme. Nursery rhymes are great for this. So we'll start with, my body lies over the ocean, my body lies over the sea, my body lies over 
the ocean, so bring back my body to me. So that's one full phrase. So you'll start, my body lies over the ocean. And a person can start there from the beginning of the phrase while you continue that phrase forward. My body lies over the ocean. Someone else can start. My body lies over the ocean. So remember, this person one will continue the phrase, person two will continue the phrase, person three will continue the phrase all the way to the end. And you can continue that going and repeating over and over. And as you do that, you hear the harmonizing as that's happening. So you hear the vertical line stretching around and around as you each find different harmony lines and start at different points. And you'll hear the vertical harmonizing that's happening along with it. That's a really fun tool. There's multiple ways that you can compose harmonies and rounds into your pieces, and they're really helpful tools when writing songs. You can kind of mimic another part of your song. So someone can sing a line and you can borrow a line and have someone else sing that line. You can change up the rhythm of the same melody line. So someone can sing one melody line and the other person can sing a different rhythm. There's so many ways that you can compose harmonies into your piece and using rounds to make it a little bit interesting, add a little bit of texture into your song. Have fun practicing. Again, it's helpful to find a friend. Call someone, harmonize. Good luck. Happy harmonizing. It's a fun way to listen to music too. So I highly recommend listening to some music and hearing the harmonies. Listen for the vertical and listen for the horizontal lines. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy singing. My body lies over the sea.